About a year ago, a military plane crashed in Mississippi, killing 16 servicemen on board. Now, a new military report says it could have been prevented with work at Robbins Air Force Base. Zach Merchant fills in the details. Two little girls, the spitting image of their dad, will spend this Christmas without him. It didn't have to happen. They didn't have to die the way they did. My children could still have their father and I could still have my husband. Sarah Schaff's husband, Marine Corporal Colin Schaff, died in 2017 when a corroded propeller on a KC-130 transport plane came loose and flew into the fuselage. The damage caused another propeller to spin into the fuselage and shred it apart. All 16 servicemen on board died. A newly released military investigation says corrosion that weakened the prop and ultimately caused the crash should have been caught during maintenance work done at Robbins Air Force Base in 2011. The procedures that were in place at 2011, those procedures, if properly done, should have detected that corrosion. But Warner Robbins Air Logistics Complex Commander Brigadier General John Kubinik says it wasn't. The corrosion should have been detected. Uh, why it wasn't, um, we don't know. Now Sarah Schaff is working to capture her husband's spirit through the eyes of his friends and family. We've been asking them to write down stories that they have of him with him to give so the girls can read it like a book. According to Base Public Affairs, a full review of the blade and propeller assembly overhaul processes at the base is now underway. But Schaff says that won't bring her children's father back. I never want them to not know him, but it's completely different having to explain to them who he was instead of him being here to show them who he was. In Barnesville, Zach Merchant, 13 WMAZ News. In a statement, Brigadier General John Kubinick said in part the base's thoughts and prayers are with the shafts and all other affected families. Robbins is one of the largest employers in the state and some have wondered whether this accident could make it harder for the base to bring in new missions. Chrissy Miner, the president and CEO of the 21st Century Partnership, says what happened is tragic, but it is the first accident like this she's heard of happening at Robbins. And she says it does not reflect the work the base typically does. And we've been in the business since the 1950s. And, you know, I'm, I'm saying we have generations of folks that have reported to work and have a patriotic heart and doing their best to make sure that those you know, they produce a good product and they do it to the best of their ability. Chrissy Miner said it is critical to figure out exactly what went wrong back in 2011 to make sure it never happens again.